How to create sign up forms for Shopify and Klaviyo. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how you can create a subscribe or a sign up form for the Shopify store that you own in Klaviyo. It is very simple and very easy. All you have to do is to follow the tutorial and you will be good to go. Now, there is an integration or a connection that should be made between Klaviyo and Shopify. And this connection will be uh, gated with a app or integration for Shopify. So in order to make this to the Shopify store, all you have to do is to sign into your account within Klaviyo. Then you have to open up your store on Shopify, sign in, in your store and you will be good to go. Now let's go back to Klaviyo. Here we have this account, which is our account. I will click on it and simply click on integrations. A little disclaimer guys, everything created in this video such as email addresses, phone numbers are created for the sake of the video. They are not used for any personal uses. Now, here in the integration, we didn't set up the shop yet. So we are going to click on add integration. And here we have a lot of integration. Simply, we are going to search an integration called Shopify. Shopify. And here we have it. Click on it and then it will be uh, demanding the URL of the shop. Simply go back right here to Shopify, then we are going to get the link. I'm going to open the Shopify store on another uh, page, get that link, go back to Klaviyo, put here the, uh, the shop. Your Shopify store URL must follow the pattern. Here we have to put the pattern of Shopify. So we have here the code. I'm going to copy that code. This is the code on the admin section. Let's go to Clavio and here we are going to type simply the code dot my Shopify. Shopify like that dot com. And here we have it. This is the store. Now the on site tracking, everything here we have uh, set. The uh, sync your Shopify email subscriber to Klaviyo. You can go ahead and put here the newsletter. For example, I'm going to put them uh, for newsletter like that. I'm going to sync here also the Shopify uh, SMS subscribers, but I don't have it already. So simply I'm going to click on connect to Shopify. Here we have the uh, app or the app store of the Shopify it will open up and it will give us this Klaviyo email marketing and SMS integration to install. Click on install and we will wait for some couple few seconds and everything will be installed. Confirm new integration. I am simply going to integrate like this. Here we will wait and see the connection if it is uh, made or not. It will take a little bit of time to make everything right here. But in the same time, I'm going to Shopify store, refresh the page, and here we have it. This is the uh, integration, it is added. As you can see, the Klaviyo app embed is not enabled. To ensure that your go to your own site tracking of function is working correctly. So we are going right here to the Shopify store. Then simply we are going to search for the app called Klaviyo. I'm going to type here on the apps, Clavio, and here we have, it. this is the uh, integration of Clavio. So the first thing that you need to do is to go ahead to Shopify store, go to the online store, then simply we are going to enable it. Click on themes, customize, and here we have the theme editor. You have to go to app embeds, and you will see here the Clavio on site Java's script. You have to enable that, click on save, and here we have it. Now, let's go back to Clavio. Then we are going to refresh the page and see the on tracking option if it is good. Here we have the Clavio app embed is enabled. Now you can go ahead and put some actions on this. The first thing that you need to do is to go ahead to content and under the contents we have templates you click on templates and simply it will show up the templates you can create a blank email 
we can import some templates. Now, let's go ahead and create a, a let's say that sign up. And it will show us normally the categories. Here we have the SMS sign up, as you can see. I'm going to create my own. Let's say here that I'm going to put something right here. Let's go ahead and put, you can create one of, or choose one of these templates. For example, this one, I'm going to click on it. Here we have it. Click on use template and simply we are going to customize it here. We are going to select that template here. We have the logo, the, uh, title or the description, the button right here. You can go ahead and put here, for example, subscribe. This is the button and I'm going to make it right here. Let's say that I'm going to put it right here. This is the button. Now let's go ahead right here and put some space here to put that space. You have to put a text box and here we have this one. I'm going to put email here. You can go ahead and put this to the middle and we have it and here we go that was uh, only for the simplest step you can go ahead and see the universals right here and you can also put the uh, subscribe button and link it to one of the uh, templates that you have created in clavio it will take them to subscribe directly within the link address that was the first method the second method is within the integration that we have added. You can go ahead and see the subscription directly from there. You go to themes. If you didn't activate it yet, it will be activated uh, with a simple click of a button from here app embeds. You are going to put here the uh, Clavion site JavaScript, click on save again, then it will normally let you see the, uh, the pop-up here. We have get 10% off. It is popping up here. Sign up to receive your discount. As you can see here, we have uh, this uh, embed or this widget created by Clavio. You can go ahead and put the number here. Click send me up and they will collect the email addresses directly to the audience right here. We have a lot of options that you can go ahead and do. For example, images, brands, products. You will see here the products from your Shopify store. You can go ahead and see those products right here and you can put some uh, additional details and check them out. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon on the next one.